Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity, and we are approaching the end of this series. There are a few things I would still like to do. However, I want to do some more cleansing of the Haram mediators. Now that we have them in the perfect position, it would be a shame to let them get off the hook. So, we are ready to declare another war on them. Looks like we're building a ton of battleships, and I'm going to queue up a bunch of more armies to train too in a little bit. So let's declare war on the mediators. Let's see what kind of fleet they've managed to rebuild in the in the uh, the truce period. So let's uh, seed. Let's cleanse Hythara. Excellent news. We're going to cleanse Gribbon. We will do Keld. Or Kaid. Huh, interesting. That's how you spell it. And what's that planet there? Morgard? System survey complete. It's really a good thing that they have this option to filter. Though it could be better. I'm going to cleanse that planet. And what is... It looks like we can... Oh, we're only at 60% war score. That is perfect. What, what did he just say was in progress? Oh well. I'm sure it what, couldn't be that important. Okay, we're going to... Oh, there are two planets in this system. We will cleanse both of them. We're at 83 war score. Kunbar. 95. Okay, that is going to be it. Confirm the war, and we will we will bring our allies to fight in the war to kill other Xenos that have probably no effect or bearing on them whatsoever. Let's get the fleets in there. So look at this, the second fleet, 188.9k. Well, I guess we'll give this fleet to Cappy Jack. Let's group them up and send them out. And we'll be building more battleships, and then we'll assign those to the 16th fleet under Devin Harrison. Ah, yes. Yeah. Stimulant Diet 5. It's, you know, uh, an, a, a nice, delicious nutrient paste. It's very good. Our finest food scientists developed it. What do we want? Hmm. Uh, nothing. I, let's go for the minus 5% leader recruitment cost. Unit to lie 68. Good stuff. Wait, where are all these ships going to? They should be rallying in Sanctuary. Why, like, why is the second fleet all the way out here? I guess I must have sent them out there in the last war, and I forgot about it. It said that damn bureaucracy, I say. Oh, right, we need to queue up some more armies. So we can do the Xenomorph army, which has... So they're, they're pretty much equivalent damage-wise. The Gene Warrior army does more morale damage, and the Gene Warrior army has more health. I mean, the, G the Gene Warrior army has more morale. So let's train a bunch of Gene Warrior armies of the Terran variety. All across the Empire. Hey, cool. What did I colonize? All these armies are going to take a while. We want to train Terran Gene Warrior armies. Unfortunately, there is no rally point for armies. There really should be. Okay. I guess that should be fine. Ooh, election is coming up. So who's our current leader? Or what are our factions like? I, I kind of want to have more xenophobia. Maybe switch over to fanatical purifiers. So our xenophobia is 33%. So if I embrace the xenophobia, I should become fanatic, xenopho fanatic xenophobes. 
but then I'll, I'll probably lose materialist or a, a militarism. Hmm. Well, I, I guess we best keep it the way it is right now. Let's see, the non-interventionist group has 76 pops in our empire that could potentially join it. And there are currently 13. Hmm, well, we need to maintain war a state of warfare to increase military attraction. Whoa, okay. Yeah, we're gonna pick a leader, right? Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Cappy Jack of the Terran Supremacy Vanguard is eligible to become a leader. I guess they all are. Well, I wonder if either of these guys would be interested in heading the the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity. They probably have the influence to gain it, maybe one day. Jennifer Clark, like Arthur C. Clark. Monthly unity plus 10% and naval capacity plus 20%. Wow. She might be the one to go with. Or we can stay with PDX1. Because he has the plus 15% naval capacity. Building cost minus 10% and food. Yeah. Let's go for the plus 10% unity from... Who was it? Jennifer Clark. The researcher. There's perhaps a better option somewhere in that list, I'm not sure. But we're not about to go hunting for it. Because we have an agenda. So what did we finish colonizing? This awesome savanna world? Okay. Where is this savanna world? It's an obrium. Okay, uh, we should just dump it into a sector. And that should be fine. You know what? Let's create a sector. How about... Jennifer Clark. Welcome aboard. You've inherited quite an amazing situation to deal with. Yeah, we're gonna make a new sector for obrium. And we can put some of these other planets in there too, just to give him some bonus resources. The Obrium Sector. And we will set their settings, so let's uh let's allow them to We'll make a balanced focus. They they're allowed to redevelop. And they can do space construction. construction. And they will not respect tile resources, because if we put on respect tile resources, then they're just gonna build a bunch of stupid farms on all the food tiles, but they don't need to do that. So we'll see what they do with that. Let's give... They're going to need some energy. And some minerals. And they, they should have a good time. Research it. So we need to recruit a new researcher for physics. You have a, a synthetic. Oh, okay. Let's recruit the synthetic. I, what? Where did Penny Dyson come from? I thought I clicked on the synthetic. Okay. Well... That's it. So we have, a, we have a war to be fighting, don't we? So let's get the 10th fleet. 262 power. Yikes. The enemy has a 3,000 feet fleet. I don't know. They haven't attacked me. I guess let's get to it. Let's group up these two fleets. And then we will group up... Ayanda Okanquo. We're going to group up these two fleets. Oh my god. Just ignore it. Gas giant signal. That's like early game trash. We don't need to be dealing with that right now. Our domination is imminent. There's nothing that can defeat the council now. There were some hairy times back in the past. When every Xenos nation around us was out competing us, out researching us, out resourcing us. It, they were bad times. But our guile and our diplomacy saw us through, and then we conquered the Besedonians. Very good times. The early days of the council. It's been two hundred it's been the game starts at twenty two hundred, right? So it's been three hundred and eleven years. 
of storied history of great heroes and bold leaders missing in action. Okay, transport fleets must have been in enemy space and our borders got closed off. Happens all the time. No one bats an eye at it. Let's get some more battleships in the pipeline. We're going to make use of that plus 20% fleet capacity. Okay. Kinetic weapon attack speed plus five percent. We need we need like some greater challenges. Let's get the better armor. Situation log updated. Well, we missed the excitement. Look at those battleships. Oh my. Oh. Swatted out of the sky like a mosquito. Of course, actually swatting a mosquito out of the sky can be quite difficult, but not if you have advanced battleships. Terraforming complete. All right. Yeah, this is another great looking planet. Let's get the people in there. System survey complete. What sort of a bombing stance are we on? We are on light ground support. Do full ground support. Yeah, look at that. Maybe we'll destroy some buildings. That'd be exciting. Oh, there's the enemy fleet, 130k. Okay, that's a respectable sized fleet. That's why we... We'll see how this goes. Oh, they have another Titan. Crap! But they didn't shoot the battleships. They, they shot a cruiser. Huh. Okay, they're putting up a bit of a fight. But they're going down now. Okay, yeah, easily done. No problem whatsoever. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. But I guess I'm kind of happy. You know, I was kind of expecting to not even see a fleet of that level of power. Okay, the 16th fleet is ready. Get in there. I guess we're going to send the 4th fleet in too. I doubt they're going to be able to put up much of a fight. And the 26th fleet. Multi-pronged assault. So I wonder how Obrium is doing. What kind of start have they gotten off to? So they built some power plants, very good. Warp impact, remarkable. What they're they're building a frontier clinic, great. And they're building a synthetic. All all good stuff. I'm glad to see it. Do we have anything else we could be colonizing? I mean, we got some size twelve planets that we maybe don't want to bother about. Oh, a size eighteen Gaia world. Wow. Okay, we're gonna colonize that. Let's send in these turns. System survey complete. Okay, are, have our transport fleets arrived yet? Yes, they have. We are in, in the crush of battle. And they've been swept aside. Enemy planet secure. 
No problem. Enemy planet swept aside. And then we can just take that planet. No problem. The army's got a short rest. It's been probably like two weeks now. Time to redeploy for another fight. Okay, so the 16th fleet has made its objective. We can send in the, the troops now. Let's send in these Gene Warrior armies. Let's see, the 46th fleet is about to... Ooh, nice. Kinetic artillery doing its job. Okay, I guess we can send these armies into here and finally this 26th fleet has also done its thing. And we'll see how all that goes. Okay, so... Oh! Oh! The colonization, man, yeah, because they had the, yeah, damn, it took him a while to build the colony ship and get it out there, so we still gotta wait. Is there anything else we could be colonizing? We have an arid world here, a desert world, size 23 desert world, oh man, a size 21 savannah world, we should colonize here. Just like home. Okay, yeah, that is just perfect. I guess the 10th fleet is done doing its thing. They're waiting at the edge of the system. We'll take the enemy capital world. Oh, who died? The general died at an age of 146. How's research coming along? We could build some more habitats too. That's always another possibility. Like, maybe we can build a habitat here and just dump it into the Obrium sector. I think that might be a good idea. Ah, I knew that would happen. As soon as you stop paying attention to, to um, planetary invasions, they start to fail. And all your troops get killed. Okay, so we got another four habitats coming up. Which invasion failed? This one here? Okay, so the enemy is badly damaged. They've been depleted and they are cut off from external supplies. So let's send in this transport fleet. They should be able to take it now. I guess the good thing about having failed invasions is that I have less armies to manage, right? Okay, we've secured. We have secured the system. Moving on. For the second offensive phase, we're just waiting on you guys over there to begin phase two. I guess we should we should seize the capital world. So what do we have? We have all these random armies. Let's send you in. Excellent, that's why I like this here. So we're gonna take this other colony and put it where, where is this new colony of ours? Where does it say new colony established? Where is the new colony? Oh, well, actually, I can just look at my outliner. This one here. Hmm? Oh, it's the... The Gaia world. That was quick. Okay, well, I'm going to put you into a sector. Give you some resources. The reason why I'm, I'm making new sectors and not using existing sectors is because I want to make it so that the, the new these new sectors are allowed to redevelop and just build stuff. And that's all there is to it. 
Like, the new planets need to be able to redevelop if they want to develop in a most efficient manner. And if I put them into another sector, they won't be allowed to redevelop. They'll just be allowed to build stuff, and then they're stuck with it. I, I like it when sec I like it when you can make sectors work for you. Like this, look at this. They're doing great. They're doing fantastic. I'm so happy. But they've built no farms. That's good. Yeah, the key is to make it so they don't respect tile resources. Yeah, you want to keep that unchecked, probably. Great stuff. It's good stuff. The best stuff. So our transport fleets are still in... Oh, perfect. Okay, we'll just send them there. We're at 29% war score. If we could finish off this war, this episode, that would be great. And hopefully we'll take this planet pretty soon. What is the war score situation looking like? So yeah, they're not willing to surrender yet. The war has not been going on for long enough. Well, this war perhaps will not end this episode. Oh man, look at all these jerks. That's a nice sized planet. 24, right? Yeah. And we'll sweep them aside this time. Perfect. Okay, second second phase can begin. We have some transport fleets here. Whoa, what are they doing here? Assault them. Can they take it? Maybe. Maybe they can. They also have some assault armies. Six gene warrior armies. Can they take it? Maybe. And they got some work to do. Situation oh man, Trent, I got 12 Gene Warrior armies in here. You guys got to get the hell out of there. Come on, 15 days. You can do it. Damn it. Now we got to go rescue their, their hides. Situation log updated? What's in the situation log? We should build some orbital research stations. Since we're doing a lot of colonization, we need a lot of influence. So leader cost minus a 5%. Let's do plus 10% army damage. We have a construction ship. So we can build some research stations. Oh man, you sorry piece of garbage construction ship. Is there anything closer you can build? Okay, so that's two research stations. Three research stations. And where's number four? There's got to be something close by. Okay, how about right there? And then once you're done, just go decommission yourself. Replace that jump drive with a warp drive. That warp drive with a jump drive. Jump drive. Jump jiving. Okay, let's get another army in here. I'm not I'm kinda not surprised that failed. I'm just letting my armies be destroyed, I guess. Like this one right here, that's nine Gene Warrior armies. They should be good. Construction complete. We have a bunch of Gene Warrior armies all the way out here. Did we rescue those? I don't think... Oh, yeah, we did rescue our transport ships. Perfect. Oh, nice. Perfect. So now we just need to retake this world, or take it properly. 
I sent the armies in there, perfect. And then finally, in this world here, we'll send these 14 Gene Warrior armies. Are we still training armies? We are. I mean, because we, we, we have plenty of reserves that we can call upon them if and when we need them. Okay, well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Next time we're going to continue our massive additional colonization. I can't wait to finish colonizing this world here. And we'll expand our borders as much as we can. And continue our campaign of vengeance. Have a great day.